Hi and welcome to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video I'll be talking about all the various ways that you can make sure that your house always smells clean and fresh. I once had a saying that said that every home has a scent so it might as well be a good one. I'll be going over all the different ways that I use to make sure that my house always smells clean. Now whether you prefer fresh laundry scents or lean more towards sort of essential oils, there will be something in this video for you. With all that said, let's jump straight into the video. The very first thing I want to touch on is the importance of always opening windows whenever possible. This makes sure that you introduce fresh air into the house and gets rid of any sort of stale smells. The problem is that when you live in the house, you probably can't smell it yourself as we get quite nose blind. But this is such an easy hack and so easily overlooked and really something that I would recommend you do whenever possible. Of course, remember, especially if you live in a double story house, to make sure to open the windows on a latch to avoid any injury to um, any little ones. The next thing I want to touch on is the importance of always eliminating or neutralizing odors before actually introducing new fresh scents. For this, I tend to use bicarbonate of soda. The first place that I use it quite often, um, actually always, is in my fridge. Simply take a box, open it and leave it in there. This will absorb any sort of odors and just keep it smelling nice and neutral. Um, another thing that you can do, should there be any unfortunate accidents on your carpet with pets or children for that matter, just pour some bicarbonate of soda on it, leave it for a while and then vacuum it up. It will neutralize any bad odors. You can also of course just sprinkle this all over your carpet and again leave it there for an hour or so and then vacuum it up just to get rid of any sort of pet odors or anything like that that you may have in your home. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can of course just take bicarbonate of soda and mix in your favorite essential oils and then sprinkle that across the carpet again, leave it for an hour or so and again vacuum it up and that will leave the room smelling absolutely amazing. If you're not one for any DIYs, you can of course just buy something like a shaker vac um, and just sprinkle that on the carpet and vacuum it up. It'll pretty much do the same job. Or alternatively, you can buy like a carpet foam freshener. I, I use that quite a lot and I would recommend that as well, which you basically just spray on the carpet once you vacuumed and it leaves a lovely scent in the room as well. If you're someone that prefers scents around sort of the smell of fresh laundry, then a little thing that I always do whenever I empty my vacuum cleaner is just to sprinkle a couple of the scent boosters, any brand will do, onto the carpet and I vacuum that up. The reason I only ever do it when I empty the vacuum cleaner is these scent boosters are quite expensive in my opinion. So I do this um, once a vacuum cleaner has been emptied because it'll stay in there for quite a while and every time that you turn on the vacuum cleaner, the scent boosters will heat up and release this lovely fresh laundry scent throughout the house. Really something to maybe give a try if you haven't done that already. Sticking with the fresh laundry type of scent, what you can also do using the scent boosters again is just put it in a spray bottle, mix it with some warm water, um, shake it up until it's completely dissolved and you can spray that all over your bedding, your curtains, any material furniture and that also smells absolutely amazing. Sticking with laundry products, another little trick that I do is to actually take my favorite laundry detergent, whatever that may be, I tend to use a liquid one, and I mix it with warm water, take a microfiber cloth and just wipe down your furniture with this, any material furniture. Not only does it leave the furniture smelling so fresh, it will also take um, off any sort of minor marks that's caused by, well in my case, mainly my kids to be honest, but it will get rid of all of that as well. Just going back to room sprays, if you didn't want to use the scent boosters mixed with the water, you can of course just pop to a shop and buy any one of various different brands. Here's a couple that I have. I have one from um, Astonish, that's in Cotton Fresh, and I have some from Fabulosa, and I have this Peony one, which I actually really like, and it's very affordable. Um, but if you wanted to go more the essential oil route, what I tend to do is I take a spray bottle, fill it two thirds with water, a third with witch hazel, and then just add my favorite essential oils. With the brand of essential oil that I use, I tend to use about 30 drops. 
Um, I am absolutely obsessed with lavender and eucalyptus at the moment. So what I do is I do about 20 drops of lavender and 10 drops of eucalyptus. Shake that up. The witch hazel will sort of make sure that the oil and the water mixes. Um, and I spray that everywhere as well, all over the furniture. And I really quite like using this mixture as sort of a pillow spray. You can of course just buy a pillow spray again, but I tend to use this one quite a lot. Another quick little trick that I would recommend is to take your favorite essential oil and put it inside the toilet roll um, in the bathroom. I would recommend not only putting it in the toilet roll that's busy being used, but also in any spare ones you have lying around just to intensify that scent a little bit. Now I couldn't make a video about how to make your house smell good without including candles. I know, good old fashioned candles, but it really is something that just create such a lovely atmosphere besides making your house smell good. Now I know not everyone are fans of candles and that's absolutely okay. I myself tend to use them more during the sort of autumn winter months and maybe sometimes in the evenings during the summer. But if for whatever reason you don't want to use candles in your home, there's always the option of using wax melts. Now I'm sure you're aware but you can get ones that work with tea lights or you can obviously opt for the electric ones which is the one that I tend to use more often in my own home. You can literally get wax melts for every occasion, every season you get ones um, that are more sort of spring scented, summer, winter, autumn or there's those more neutral scents like linen fresh but there's definitely something for everyone out there and they can be quite affordable as well. Now if wax melt isn't for you then I would definitely recommend investing in a diffuser. I personally lean more towards using my diffuser during the spring summer months and I use them upstairs all year round as part of our bedtime routine actually. Another use that I found for them and obviously don't quote me on this is just what I do for my family is when anyone is a little under the weather I mix tea tree oil, peppermint and lemon and I put that in the diffuser as kind of a more natural alternative to like a Vicks vapor up and I really do believe that that helps. Moving on to wall plugins. Of course you buy these from the shop, they come in various different scents, various different brands do them and I don't have any preference one way or the other. But I do believe that they are slightly on the pricey side. So what I tend to do is when I purchase one, I use it. And then when it's empty, you can actually refill it, which is something that I didn't know until fairly recently. You simply take the cup out. Again, I fill it with two thirds water, a third witch hazel, and then add in my favorite essential oils. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm really on a lavender eucalyptus cake. So that's what I used on this occasion. You put the cup back on and you plug it in as normal and it just sort of doubles the lifespan. I personally only refill it once. I don't know if you can do it more than that, but that is just what I do and maybe a little hack for you as well. It also creates a completely different sort of scent, of course, when you use these essential oils versus the scents that most of them come in from the shop. Lastly, I'm sure you've noticed, but multi-purpose cleaners come in so many, many, many different scents now. What I would recommend is whenever you are cleaning your house, especially when you're looking at cleaning sort of larger surfaces like doors and your cupboards, make sure to pick a scent that you love. Use that and it'll make the whole room smell amazing. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some ideas on how to make your own home smell good. What I would say is that I myself become quite nose blind. So I tend to use sort of a combination of these methods throughout my house so that I can smell it as I move through the various rooms. For example, right by the front door, I have my electric wax melt burner that's plugged into a smart plug. It is set to come on around 30 minutes before I know I come home from the school run. That means that the wax is nicely heated up and releasing that lovely scent as soon as I enter the front door. I personally then use plugins in my downstairs loo, just use it on the lower setting and then I have one on the upstairs landing as well. As I mentioned earlier, we use diffusers upstairs and I tend to um, have lavender in there. Um, again, those are on smart plugs that come on round about bath time, so it kind of forms part of the kids sort of bedtime routine. They stay on for 60 to 90 minutes as they sort of get ready for bed. In the lounge, I tend to use candles or 
um, and diffuser just depending on the season and the time of day. So I really hope that this video gave you some ideas. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. It really does help my channel out so much. And if you don't want to miss another upload, please hit the subscribe button as well. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!